Hey guys, welcome to that photo show. Pick and Mix, Dan here. Mick here. Blimey, Daniel. Pick and Mix. It's been a long it's time since we've done a Pick and Mix, which is um, a little bit rubbish because we've got a whole flipping box of really cool pedals we out do. there that we are falling way behind on. To wit. To woo. <laughs> Get in. Yes. What have we got today then, Dan? Okay, we have the Alpha by Old Blood Noise Endeavours. Really, really pleased to uh, get some of their stuff on the show. Cool. We've got the Duelist by King Tone FX, Jesse Davey. Hello, Jesse. We have Art Vandalay by Bondi FX. <laughs> uh, yep. And we've got the Immerse uh, Reverberator V2, is it? Yes. Uh, V3. V3. Mark II. Mark II? Mark II. Okay. From... Oh. oh, no, sorry. I, I got confused with the V3 because it's the, uh, the wet their third version of their wet algorithm. Algorithm. Okay, fine. Just double checking that before. Yes, version three of the wet algorithm. Uh, from New Neighbor. Right. Uh, or New Neighbor. Or New Neighbor. Or New Neighbor. Yeah. Yes. I got New Neighbors four years ago, three years ago. How's that working out for you? Great. <laughs> Lovely people. <laughs> nice. Um, right. Let's start with this then. It's got sliders and everything. I was so excited when I saw this. What is it? We like right. old blood noise endeavours. We do, we do. Very I don't cool know people. anything about the company, do you? Um, no. Um, Only that we, I love their Instagram posts. Yeah. We we did. We met them briefly at NAM. Did we? I apologise. Yeah. And But anyway, their, their stuff is well cool. Trez cool. Uh, this is a really great fuzz that has... Um, the sliders are the EQ, and it gives you the option to blend in clean signal. Uh, you've got uh, a low pass filter. That's different. Uh, different switchable modes in the low pass filter. You can turn that off. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a gate. Gate. Bias. Yep. Yep. All that stuff. Wow. Gany then. Okay. Our uh, answer using today we have the Two Rock Classic Reverb Signature and the Audio Kitchen Big Chopper. Together they sound thus. <laughs> Switching on the alpha. So cool. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Okay, you, tell me, can you help me with that? Yes. What these switches right. do. <clears throat> so this switch here, uh, this goes uh, in conjunction with the low pass filter. So if I uh, in position one, so if you just have showing with this. Right, that's position one. Position two. Turn that off completely. Turn the reverb down a bit. Everyone's going, no, don't turn the reverb down. Yeah, turn it off completely. So you can turn that off completely and that gets really loud. Uh, but that, that feels nice with a bit of that in there, a bit of mid. Now, 
Now the fuzz and gate are very interactive. So if I turn the gate all the way down and the fuzz all the way up, it's more like a, a an, like a angry overdrive. <laughs> fuzz range switch here so if I go up higher right you know what this needs tell me what this needs it needs a funky guitar yeah well, it does indeed uh, I really like that I totally bought this on a whim from Anderson so we're knocking them out cheap right it's got I still haven't changed the strings it's got really thin strings on it, so sorry if it goes out of tune, mm -hmm. but Golf will pick up. Let's see what happens. Now if I turn the gate up, it gets really spitty. So with the bias, remind me if it's if you're starving it, it's spittier, or yes. if it's so. Yep. Is that down at the bottom or up at the top? Ah, let's have a go. great is that it's pretty cool i think um i was sorry went for some extreme eq things there yeah for those sort of real filtery type so with the with the with the various filters and the eq mm. you can just get really 
but crazy. So many pedals that have a lot of these options, I find tricky to get a good sound out of. Mm. I can't get a bad sound out of this thing. Well, it's it, great. I mean, it's a loaded term anyway, isn't it? But um... but you know what I mean. It's it's, it's like the that the gate control. Mm. Um, like the gate feels like it's either on or off, but but it sounds no matter where that position is, and in conjunction with the fuzz, there's always a usable tone there. You know. And yeah. Yeah. I th that's, uh, that's wonderful. Very very cool. I mean, I was flicking switches and turning knobs completely willy nilly there. So um, apologies if uh, it was a bit all over the place. No. Uh, yeah. It's very cool. Read the bloody manual. <laughs> um, right. Duelist. Duelist. Hi, Jesse. Um, Jesse Davey used to play in a uh, UK band, The Hoax. Uh, fine, fine, fine guitar player and um, pretty demon pedal designer, as it turns out. Duelist has been around for a long time. Lots of people were telling me I'd really like it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, maybe I will. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, here it is. Who do we know that has these? we got Josh Smith uses one on his board. Um, like you, Joey Landreth yeah. uses one. You see him everywhere. You see him everywhere. You see him everywhere. I'm going to use the floor-mounted horn. Very nice. Little honk there for Josh and uh, for for Joey. Um, Joey's coming over, by the way. Uh, oh, he is. In the next couple of weeks, we're talking April 2019. So if you're around in the UK, please go and check out Joey's gigs. He's playing all over the UK mm -hmm. and maybe Europe. I think Josh is is doing a North American tour. I think at the moment. Anyway, check them both out at their websites. Right. This side is kind of. Tube screamery, mm -hmm. and this side is kind of blues breakery. Really? Okay. Um, I did not know that. I believe there might be some more stuff inside. Okay. But I'm going to leave that stock. Let's start with the tube screamery side now. Um, what's What's very interesting is straight off the bat. <laughs> So you've got fairly clean. Sounds great. And then you've got less clean. And that'll actually get quite gainy. You're so good at that stuff. Oh, it just sounds awesome. Man. So I love that straight, That's straight away. I'm normally amazing. not a big fan of switches on things because right. it's like, oh, you can't make your mind up. Yep. But I tell you what I found, a bit of um, experience of actually using this at a couple of gigs now. When I'm playing, messing around at home or here, it tends to be there mm -hmm. on the stock and then get into a gig scenario and you need a bit more presence. Presence. On the glass. Hello. Wow. And so is it just a top end thing? As far as I'm aware, right? Yeah, I mean, you can go onto Jesse's website and read more details, or even you could read the manual. Um, can I just try that sound with the glass? Yeah, yes, just that's on, exactly just what I was going to suggest. <laughs> Thank you. 
a tube screamer circuit. Based on a tube screamer circuit. That doesn't sound like any tube screamer I've ever played. It's got tubes, well, because you've got all that top end put back. Ah, I see. But, so, still quite honky sounding though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. get a load of this then. That's the order, right? As far as I'm aware, okay. yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can change it internally. Maybe you can. I just, I turned them both on one night and thought, I'm happy with this. That is killer. I'm happy with this. So, you know. actually starts caving in on itself a bit mm, mm. after a while and can sound kind of fuzzy mm. um, which I really like but I just think you know I'm, uh, as you know I'm no fan of pedals that have got tons of controls on because I just my brain gets confused and mm -hmm. I just need it to be but that is so intuitive yeah I think probably because it comes from Jesse it's killer it's so good it's absolutely brilliant oh well done Jesse so um, there probably already is a wait list I'm Assuming that it may have just got a bit longer, but <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I it's one question that come up is so is it better than the DNM drive? It's different. It's mm -hmm. very 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 different. The string singer side is much more tube screamery. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, and the heavy hand, it heavy hand is not like the gain side of the DNM drive at no. all. Okay. So it does a very 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 different job. Sure. Um, yeah. Sounds epic. Killer, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely epic. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. So I, I think that won't be coming off my board for some considerable. Nice. Okay. Art Vandelay. Any um, Seinfeld <laughs> fans out there? Yeah, we had to look. Um, I had to look I'd, this up. I, I knew it. I, I didn't I, know. I, I knew. I'd heard it. Going, Where have I heard it? And then looked it up as, as like from, from Seinfeld, something that George um, made up. So this is from Bondi FX, uh, my mates in Bondi, in Sydney. Now they, we've seen a few of their uh, pedals on the show. They're consistently knocking out great stuff. Um, 
This is so cool. So it's a digitally controlled analog delay. It has presets. Uh, you've got, if you're using MIDI, you've got up to 32 presets that you can program in there. Um, but uh, but you can, you, it's got an expression pedal and things in there. So anyway, uh, up to 1200 milliseconds. Oh, nice. Most, for, uh, if you're generally not aware, most normal analog delays, old fashioned analog delays, maybe 350. Yeah. Yeah, and the long the longer ones were six hundred. Yep, yeah, and yeah. then as as we go forward, stuff like I think the carbon copy I think is six hundred or six sixty yeah, yeah, or right. something. Getting up to a thousand gets more difficult, mm -hmm. um, and then twelve hundred is. Yeah, so you'll hear it if I um I'm, I might go back to the telly. Oh, actually, uh -huh. nice like that. Um, for those uh, we just literally ten minutes ago, well 20, 30 minutes ago, took delivery of this. Oh, uh, you know what? Well, I don't. Well, no. you, you can try, but it, okay, it no, might, okay, it might no. be a struggle. Right, just, it's enough. literally just come out of the box. Do it, Dan. I'm gonna do it. I'm come gonna on. do it. I can't suggest it, and then not. So we 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 got a jazz master, and um, we can't share a guitar. So we thought we'd get a Jaguar as well, and then we're just gonna choose which ones we like. I'm I'm easy. I don't mind which one I end up with. Now, at this point, I've got no idea what these do, so we'll have to work that out. This is the same rhythm circuit and lead circuit, but these are, I guess, pickup switches on and off. But there's three switches oh, and really? two pickups. Okay. <laughs> so maybe one's a phase or something, but Jaguar owners are yelling at the screen <laughs> at this very point. So that's an eight right. pickup on and off. This is Ace, by the way. Keep going.
That sounds very nice indeed. It sounds beautiful. What does the switch do? It's the subdivision switch. Okay. So presumably, how do you know what subdivision you're on? Uh, I, so if I go... There are three positions. Oh, okay. Sorry. I should... Let me... Let me... Let me... Let me... Let me, let me. Toggle switch. Uh, up is a quarter note. Middle is... Oh, hang on. Oh, my eyes, Dan. My eyes. Is that an eighth, a quarter, and a dotted eighth? That's the one. Uh, yes, up is a is an I, eighth. I'll Middle just, is a quarter, I, I, and down I, is dotted eighth. So I think it's four point text. So uh, it is tiny. But I do have to go back to the optician. So, so you know, so that's your quarter note. Yeah. This will be twice as fast as that. So. Yeah. And then dotted eighth. Very nice. Can it just uh, satisfy my curiosity here? Can it do a quick slap back? I think 40 milliseconds, I believe, is the, is the fastest. Oh. Where's the feedback? There we go. I like that an awful lot. I guess you probably wouldn't buy it if you were just looking for a slapback, would you? And the modulation, finally, just to reflect on that for one second, we've got this. So infinite feedback uh, when you hit the 
if you hold down the tap control. It's a very um, packed market, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It but is. It sounds lovely, and it's got MIDI too. So maybe that, maybe the MIDI part of it puts it in an interesting category. Yeah. Um, as a compact format pedal. Yeah. Look, tap tempo, analog delay. You get those sounding good, you're golden. But with all the other stuff that it can do, but straight out of the box, you know, really easy to use. Um, I think it sounds great. They've done a great job. Sounds nice. Yeah, well um, done. Also, just one final point. Nice. I like that. Some delays don't have that where you can mix the delay amount right. over, over the dry signal. Right. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Immerse. Immerse. So this is the new Immerse from... Uh, Nunabuea. <laughs> Neighbor. Neubuea. 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 Have we got a thing with this? I do. Uh, good. So, uh, help me out. So it's got a bunch of right. algorithms. There's the, yep, there's all the um, different... Um... Tell you what, you play. Okay, so talk. The, the cool thing about this, which the old one didn't do, or uh, I'm pretty sure it didn't do, from this one, you can mix from 100% dry to 100% wet. Yeah. The other, the the other one, you could only have mix like half and half, which okay. is the maximum one. So, so what that means is you can get really, really wet with it. I'm just going to turn the reverb off in the amplifiers. Can you just come? Drier than a nun's wine glass. So we go from there's a dry signal. And I think I think some people have said previously when they just wanted to do like really full on wet stuff, it just wasn't quite enough there. So you can So that's the that's wet a logarithm, right? So, yes. Yeah, so they're saying, um, yeah, as you said, 100% dry to 100% wet. Increased headroom, mm -hmm. apparently. So if you're hitting it with stuff beforehand, it can handle it better. That's what I do, baby. <laughs> wow. Uh, the, yeah, the new... Wet algorithm is new, as you say. It's got a new sustain effect. Yes, so this is very cool. Check this out. Um, if I go on to sustain... And has various improvements to most effects. If I just hit a chord... So of course you can set the sustain time and how long it takes to trail off things. But that I, I love that. That's so cool. So hang on then. Let's, so we've gone over the main updates to the previous one. Yep. The uh, the effects are wet version three of the wet algorithm, a yep. plate, a hall, yep. a spring, mm -hmm. the sustain one which we've just heard, uh, echo and reverb, which mm -hmm. is interesting, mm -hmm. um, pitch transpose, tune, and a shimmer. Should we have sure. a, should we have a listen to each one of them? Okay. Just for a right. second. So, there you go. So what we got now then? This is the wet. This is the wet. Yep.
that was the sustain one, was it? That was the sustain one. So this was interesting. Echo, this is reverb and delay, is it? Cool, man. Thanks, guys. Um, 
have a great day. Don't forget, uh, check out the description below. You'll find links to our preferred retailers, the shop where you can buy um, uh, VHS box sets of that pedal show. Uh, and strings, strings, t-shirts, strings, all that stuff. Caps, hats, mugs, coasters, pencils, everything you can. It's how we do, it's how we pay to do the show. So uh, please head to that pedal show store. Thank you to our preferred retailers. Did thank you say that? Uh, thank you to our preferred retailers. Links are in the descriptions below. And uh, anything else, Dan? Uh, no, we're good. We're good. Yeah. Yes. Great. More have, pick and mix soon. Yes. Have a great day. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye.